Since we're in the middle of the Halloween season, I guess the next question from Teddy is an appropriate one. Which is scarier, The Black Cauldron or Pooh's Grand Adventure? To be honest, I would not call either of these movies scary. One is certainly dark, but as a child, neither gave me the willies. I would not call anything in the Winnie the Pooh franchise scary. Even the Heffalumps and Woozles musical number I always thought of as more funny than scary. So to directly answer the question, The Black Cauldron probably wins this one by default. What Pooh's Grand Adventure does have is mild peril, but we know nothing bad will actually happen to the main characters. When they start on their journey, we know the areas they encounter are mostly in their imagination, as Al has exaggerated the locations. As for the central conflict of Christopher Robin seemingly going missing, we also know he's alright and that Al has merely misread the word school in his note. It's not until the live-action Christopher Robin movie when the filmmakers decide to send him off to boarding school and then World War II. There is a surprising amount of melancholy that runs through Pooh's grand adventure, as Pooh longs for Christopher Robin's return, and that's why the movie ultimately works. But scary? No, I would not go that far. With the Black Cauldron, the characters are in genuine danger here, with all sorts of monsters and creatures coming after them. There's also the Horde King and his plan to rule the world through his skeleton army. The Disney animators have produced a number of violent scenes with the skeletons, but Jeffrey Katzenberg had just come in and was concerned that it would be too intense for a young audience and produce a higher rating, so he chopped them off. So it's possible we missed the chance of having a truly scary Black Cauldron. As it stands in the finished film, this really neat army of skeletons does not really do much, as they are defeated not long after they are created a likely consequence of the story being affected by the cuts. The Horned King can certainly be called an imposing figure, though, with his Darth Vader-like appearance and John Hurt providing his voice. He does stand out among Disney villains, even if I don't rank him among their best baddies. For the most part, though, the Black Cauldron principally exists in a generic fantasy world, with most of the journey undertaken by the leads involving your standard goofy witches and marketable fairy people. But again, unlike Pooh's Grand Adventure, the events appearing on screen are actually happening to Taryn and Eileen, and not merely existing in their imagination. Rather than scares, what both films contain is peril. To be honest, there's not much else I can really say about this question. But if you want a really scary Disney movie, then I would say watch Return to Oz. It's even set near Halloween, so even more perfect viewing for October. Thank you for your question, Teddy.